my dad is my best mate. Is he? 100%. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it, like, 100%. I speak to him every day. I used to have Spanda Ballet on my wall. Did you? Did that creep you out? <laughs> no. I really did. I really loved your dad. He was my absolute favourite, yeah. The funny thing is, it was, so was my mum's. Oh, did she? Yeah. Cool. My mum's first boyfriend was Andrew Ridgely. Was it really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> from so Wham? Went from Andrew Ridgely. <laughs> to my knowledge, my mum's only kissed two people in her life. Really? Of course, and don't you test that knowledge. <laughs> yeah, don't push don't it. Worry about she doesn't it. want to reveal it. That's a pretty good dating history. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Isn't it? it really yeah. is. Totally. My mum always says that she said to George Michael at a party that she was going to marry him. Marry Martin, marry your dad? Yeah. But their first date, George went with him. Oh, my God! My mum didn't want to go on her own. Really? Yeah. Because she was shy? They went to go and see Sade at the Camden Palace. Did they? <laughs> yeah. Sade. Yeah. That's my dad so was like, cool. my dad said he spent the whole day trying to get rid of him. <laughs> really? <laughs> George Michael was a great wingman, man. Like, it's a great wingman. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you were close with George? Cos yeah, my all father, yeah. It's really nice that, you know, all the memories that I have are just so nice going on holidays and... Yeah. Having my parents compete with Christmas presents against him. One year, my dad bought me a bike, bought me a rally bike, so I was like sick. And then I remember uh, George came um, came to uh, the house and brought in my present, and he had gone to Harrods. <laughs> and bought one of those electric cars, you know, oh, the no. big cars. But not just that, it was a Batmobile. Yeah. Oh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> and it was great to see Roman opening about that because I think there's a bit of him genuinely that's quite shy about it. Not because he's in any way ashamed of it, he loves his mum and dad, but he's quite private about it because obviously he's got his own career and his own life and how extraordinary it must have been to be, you know, in that environment growing up. My dad was 16 when he signed his first record deal. The story goes that Gary started Spandau Ballet and my nan came in one day to, to Gary and said, um, you're leaving Martin out. You've got to put him in the band. Begrudgingly, Gary had to put my dad in the band. And Could he play an instrument at this point? No. Oh, really? No. Could he sing? No. <laughs> still can't. He still hasn't really? Re he still hasn't realised his mic wasn't on for live, eh? Really? <laughs> Forcing he got her good, son though, in. didn't he? Yeah yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, But when, when, when they went back out on tour, post brain tumour and stuff yeah, like that... Yeah, God, you, he had a tough time. He forgot everything. So I had to learn all the Spandau songs and then re-taught them to him. No. That's yeah. epic. Yeah. How can my dad not be my hero, like, like for all yeah. of that?